early college students, we have already talked with our sixth and seventh graders. They are high. My name is Demonica Amerson. I am the proud principal of Clotten Middle School here in Spring ISD. Here's with a purpose. Your purpose is to not only support these students, but to encourage them. The program actually is designed to take our sixth and seventh grade students and partner them with juniors and seniors from early college. Here in the library, the first day the sixth and seventh graders met their tutor. How about you, what'd you do for spring break? This is the first day. There you go. Over the weeks, the relationships built. High five and it allowed them to be able to actually teach. Okay, well in the first story, today we were focusing on reading and comparing and contrasting the different articles. Either of the little short stories, does it say anything about exciting people? No. No, it doesn't, so that can't be an answer choice. Today what we went over was absolute value. So what is the absolute value of the sunken ship? Four. I made sure that they knew how to do like the basic stuff, fractions, multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, multiplying by positive and negative numbers. So what do you get when you add them? Six. six. All right, perfect, that's that's beautiful. The sixth and seventh grade students that were paired with the juniors and seniors from early college um, needed that extra support in reading and math. And so we looked at their data and we said, these students just need that push. And we knew even though they would hear the same material and the content, a different voice would make it more relative to them and it would give them just what they need to get over that little moment. I like to ask my kids, what do you guys need help with? What do you really need help with? And so they tell me, and then I make my lesson plans based on what they tell me. You think it's right? You think it's right? I think it's right too. For the kids, I think it's going to improve their confidence. I noticed a change, like as I was working with them, introducing like new skills, I noticed a change in like how they felt answering questions and reading out loud. They can share a lot of information about not only the subject matter, which is reading or math preparation for the STAR test, but they can also talk to them about a number of other things, like what is high school like. Whenever y'all get into like high school and stuff, and y'all are taking like SATs, y'all are gonna wanna look at the questions first so y'all know where to look, because you're on a timer. The one thing I hope the kids get out of this experience is that they learn that just never to give up. You have to find help, find people to help you. We have to work together, that's the only way that anybody can get anything done in this life is working together.